Nobody else can do it for you. Your guide, your teacher is guiding you in that direction, leading you towards inner freedom. But it cannot take you there. You got you have to walk. Maybe in the next academy after or maybe during the retreat we talk about the yani and an encounter with the yani. Because those of us who've been lucky and had an encounter with the yani, our paths completely changed. And we have been invited to the path of realization, self-awakening. Great. So we're coming to the end of our academy. I. It's funny, like an hour, 45 minutes goes by and it goes by like this. Thank you for joining me. It's nice to be with you. Our um, global self-awakening retreat begins this coming Saturday. So uh, if you want to have direct interaction, then I uh, would sign up through the Zoom so then we can see each other. We will be broadcasting it on Facebook and Instagram, uh, but I would, won't be able to interact with you on that. And we'll be recording all the sessions. Everything will go on my YouTube channel, Zarathustra 5D. All the recordings will go on our podcast, Zarathustra 5D, and our Facebook channels. Uh, my website is Zarathustra.tv. This is a free online Global Self-Awakening Retreat. Uh, we do, uh, donations are welcome. We appreciate you if you help. So we can turn the wheel and spread the wisdom to as many people as possible across the globe and make this available for also younger people. So helping them to find their way because it's very confusing for them. If it's confusing for you, can you imagine if you're 20 years old, how confusing things could be, 25 years old? It's very confusing. So, and there are a future. So we need to educate them so they don't fall into the trap. And their mind's not conditioned the way our minds are. So we can help them get liberated. Also, I'm uh, happy to announce that I would be offering uh, a four-day retreat in um, mid-November. Um, I haven't set up the date, but I decided it's going to be a self-awakening, discovering the master it's a mastery self-awakening retreat that I will be offering it. So uh, I'll be putting it up hopefully by tomorrow or the day after it's going to be on my website. So we'll have that. But for the moment, we are going to be together for nine days. And that's going to be very powerful. I really look forward to it. I wanted it to be in the row. I didn't want to have any inter... I mean, you're welcome to cruise in and cruise out. Maybe you're, maybe you're not able to do the entire nine days. Uh, and that's fine. As long as just tap into the juice, tap into the energy. So, because there's powerful transmission happens. It is when the gateway opens up to fifth dimension and when the source, Her Majesty, the Supreme comes through and channels 
there is a very powerful transmission happens. And that transmission of silence is that which elevates our vibrations because we gather together in the name of God. We gather together as sannyasins. We're the monks on the path. We're the seekers of the truth. We all have a deep love of God. We're all one love. You can, you can slice it any way you like. You can change the wording. I don't like God, spirit. I'm not looking for self-realization. I just want inner peace. Or I want to find my soulmate. Or I want more money. Or I want to manifest what I want in my life. Whatever is your definition of it is, if you come together and we meet up, then we have one thing in common. We all want to be loved and we all want to be accepted and we all want a peaceful life, inner peace. It's a very common thread that runs among all of us. We all want to be ultimately happy. This is what we all want. Nobody on this planet will come and say, I don't want to be happy. They may have their wicked ways of it. Maybe they murder kids. Maybe they rape people. Maybe they steal. But they're still down deep looking for their way of reaching happiness in stealing or killing. But they still want to be happy. That is absolutely undeniable. There is no being coming to life not wanting to be happy. But the idea of happiness may be different, which is different. And in my youth, I realize that I want ultimate happiness. That happiness that doesn't come and go is always here. That happiness comes from a deep state of inner peace. Because it's not conditional. It has to be unconditional. It's got to be unconditionally peaceful, regardless of what is going on in my surrounding? If I invest and base my happiness on what is going on in the world or in my surrounding or my relationships, then I'm in trouble because it's conditional. It must be unconditional and permanent, free from everything. Therefore, you must derive it from your inner source. It has to come from your inner power. So we're going to de dive deep into that in the next nine days to build up the energy so we can raise our vibrations to a higher frequency by continuously coming into this unified field. And that's my intention. Nine days, every day, we come together and we tap into this unified field. <laughs> I love you all, my brothers and sisters. So happy to be at your presence and to serve. Serve you.